Hey guys, how's it going? It's Dilma again and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to continue the image tracking videos. We're going to be focusing on adding multiple image libraries so that we can toggle between them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by cloning this scene. This is the one that I created previously where I show you how to dynamically load and create an AR tracking component. So let's go ahead and clone this one and I'm going to just go ahead and go into scenes, image tracking runtime clone it and we're going to rename it to multiple let's go ahead and double click it to open it and then i'm also going to go to file build settings and then make sure that i have that scene added so i'm just going to click on add open scenes and then the reason why i do this is because i want to build it right before i'm done and make sure that you stay watching the video because i'm going to show how this runs when i have it running in my device all right, so I have it added and then I'm also in it. So the next thing that I want to do is I'm going to clone this script as well. This is the, the track imaging for runtime manager. We're also going to do the same thing that we did with the other one. We're just going to go ahead and call it multiple. Multiple. There we go. And then I'm just going to copy the name. Perfect. And let me just close out of Visual Studio Code because a lot of times I have issues with compilation. Let me reopen it, and I know there's an error because I need to rename it, so we'll fix it. Excellent. So the next thing that I need to do is, this is the way that the, the previous one worked. Let me see what, why this is complaining. Oh, it's just complaining because we just rename it. There we go. Okay, so the previous one I show you, I am adding a reference image library, and this is just one. So I want to be able to toggle between, basically between two of them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this to be an array. And that way we can change between, you know, which one we have selected. And then I'm also going to be adding, let's go ahead and add a, a simple toggle. We can just add a, just think about, let's just go ahead and add a, an integer. And then what I'll do with this one, I'll just say current, let's just call it current selected library. Perfect. And we can just initialize it to zero. Awesome. And then, so this is going to say that, yeah, it's not, it's not a, an object anymore, it's an array. That's fine. We can just go ahead and initialize it to index zero. That's what I'm going to be using this for. Perfect. And then that will create a library. So then the next thing that I want to do is I want to be able to, to change which one I have selected. So what I'm going to do for this is I'm going to say, let's go ahead and add one new method public. And then we can just say set reference image library and then we can just pass in an index we can just say select it library and then we can just initialize it to zero by default and then what i'll do is because i have that one selected we're going to need to change this value so all this is really going to do is just going to change the value of the of the selected library and then in fact we can just since it's just so short just gonna do it all in one line all right so that's going to select the library that we have and then and thinking about it it's actually gonna be longer than that so <laughs> let me go back okay so what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna need to change the library that I have selected so if you look in here this has a create runtime library and, and we're passing this library so what I'm gonna do for this one is I'm gonna do exactly the same thing but at this point this is gonna have a different index selected so we we don't really need this to be honest now that I'm thinking about it because what I could have done here as an initializer we can just initialize it to zero and then this one can just basically just take the basically take the select library the the problem with this is I want to make sure we don't go beyond the index of the array but because I'm going to be controlling this I think it's okay or we can basically just add a check to make sure that we don't go beyond that number but I think I think this is fine since we're going to be the ones controlling it all right, so we have the image library here that we're selecting. I have my array. Okay, so let's go ahead and, I think that's everything that we need to do here. Let's go into Unity now, and let me make sure that I can clear, I don't have any errors. Excellent, so now this object is gonna have to be modified. And in fact, I'm gonna copy, I'm gonna copy the component. Let me see if it allows me to copy the, paste the values on the new component, because it's, it's named a little bit different. So we're just gonna say, Let's go ahead and call it, I think it was called track, track, image. There's an airplane passing by, so that's why I kind of got distracted a little bit. So that's okay. Let's go ahead and paste component. 
Okay, yeah, it doesn't allow. It's okay. We can just go ahead and, and add all the attributes ourselves. So I'm just going to go ahead and expand this one, associate the debug log, also associate the image text. And then this is going to be the prefab on track. So we can do the same object that we did before. We can just do the place TV3. I think that's fine. And then this is going to take multiple libraries. So I'm just going to say I'm going to I'm going to set it to two. And then what I'll do is I'll go into my image library assets. And then I'm just going to create a new one. This one can just be we can just call it two. I think that's OK. And then this is going to be our first one. So on this second one, what I want to do is I want to create a new image. And for that, I did add a new, let's see, let me open it up so I can show you. So this is an eater's car. And I have it right here with me, so that's why I scan it and put it in. So what I'm going to do is on image reference library 2, it's going to have basically uh, an image that is associated with an eater's car. So let's go ahead and associate that one. I'm just going to say an eater's car. And then I do want to specify a size. And then normally what I do for that, let me just copy 0.1.1, .1. go back into this, and then 0.1.1. .1. Sometimes it doesn't, yeah, I think it just tries to do, it tries to keep the, the resolution. And I think this is good. So now what I'm going to do, let me just neaters car. If I can spell neaters correctly, neaters car. There we go. And then everything else should be fine. And then in this one, I have... Yeah, I think everything looks good. So now let's go into my AR session origin. The first one is going to be this one. And then the second one is going to be this one. And let me make sure that I select that again and associate it. Excellent. So now what I'm going to need is I'm going to need a button as well to determine which one is going to be the one that is currently selected. So what I'm going to do instead of copying, let me go ahead and go into another one of my scenes. And I'm just going to steal a button. <laughs> that way we don't have to create it from scratch. And then let's go back into here. Go back into here and then paste it. So this one is going to be the first one. So we just call it first image library button. And then I'll just say select first image library. We can make it a little bit of both, but that's fine. And then just make it a little bigger. We can just, that's fine, let's move it down, and then let's move it up a little bit. I think this is way too verbose, so let me, let's see, let's go ahead and call it, let's just say first, first image library, I think that's perfect, and then we'll just resize it, and then this is going to be the image that gets detected, so I don't want to get over that, and then this one is going to be the second, so second image library button and then this one we'll just call it second excellent and then I'll move it to the side kind of like it anchors with the aligns with the label that we have under it okay so I think we're I think we're good let me instead let me just move it in a little bit there we go that just looks better all right and then I think we got everything so now what I need to do is I need to add a reference to those two objects so I'm going to go ahead and create a new property here. This is going to be a button, first button, second button. And then we'll just make it serializable. OK, and, and then what I'll do is when we, when we get to the start method, I'm going to be attaching to the onClick event. And then what I'm going to do instead of creating a handler for a new, basically a new method for this, what I can do is just do uh, lambda and then we can just call it and then I'm gonna say okay if it's the first one we're gonna have it at index 0 if it's the second one it's gonna be index 1 except this is gonna be second and I think we're good here we're good here now what we need to do is just associate those two buttons so let me go into here and associate it with my first button and second image library button with my second button all right, so I think that it's everything that we need to do here. And so now what I'm going to do is just go ahead and go to File, Build Settings. And I know that I'm that I'm going really fast, guys, but if you have any questions, don't worry, But because the, the code is going to be available on GitHub. So you can download it to github.com, Delmar V, and then Unity AR Foundation Essentials. 
you can clone it and run it and look at the code yourself so and if you have any questions you know let me know in the comments all right so i got this one selected i got everything okay everything looks good let me just uncheck this uncheck this and then yeah we can do a development build let's click on build and then i'm going to i already had an image tracking runtime so let's go ahead and append it so it basically builds faster and then it should be done here in just a few seconds so it's going to create a build and then as soon as the build is done i'll show you the results on my device i'm going to go ahead and unmute it so you don't hear my my introduction so you can see that the image library first is selected and that's the one that i have currently selected i am trying to rotate the car it doesn't get detected and the second image library got detected as soon as i press the second image library and i'm going to put it down now you can see the image the second one is selected it doesn't detect it and that's what i'm shaking it now i press the number the first image library and it got detected so this basically shows you how you can toggle between different reference image libraries and on the next video what i'm going to show you is how we can build these libraries and add images in in real time by taking screenshots from the screen and areas from the screen to detect images so that's everything that i wanted to show you guys thank you